Hey guys, DJ here, and uh, welcome to another video on Tarkov. Um, one of the biggest new features that have just been added in the 10.5 patch is the flea market. Um, in this video, I want to briefly cover how it works, how to sell or trade uh, your own items, and how to buy and trade items that you need. Um, in addition to this, Battlestate have also added a handbook um which is essentially a catalog of all the items in the game that you have discovered and examined and i'll go over that at the end of the video uh let's get stuck in so the uh, flea market is accessed through the trader screen and is essentially a player driven trading function where you can buy sell or trade any items in the game uh with the wipe only just happening uh and the items available being fairly limited i'm just going to go over this at a high level uh for you uh so you can see fundamentally how it works um i'll make a more in-depth guide on the flea market as uh, the player market matures uh, so to access the flea market um we just click on the trading uh button on the main screen and then at the top of the screen, you'll now see uh, a flea market uh, option available. We're just going to click on that. So once the page loads in, you'll see in the main part of the screen, uh, a list of all items that have been put up for sale or trade by other players. Um, and this also includes items that the traders have for sale. Um, if you focus your attention to the top left, you'll see uh, four buttons here. One is Browse, which is the default and brings you to the, this page. Uh, Wishlist uh, allows you to uh, view items you have added to your wishlist. Uh, and My Offers uh, is the page where you can view items that you have currently for sale or trade. Um, and then finally, there's a little cog up here which allows you to apply filters to any of these items. So let's start with the browse screen. Um, as I said before, this will list every item that currently is for sale in the marketplace. Uh, on the left hand side, you have a list of all the items in the game uh, and you can click drill down into these uh, and view uh, wh whichever of the sub items that you want. Um, these are all barter items, so you're going to find a list of all task items in here. Um, you can just click through and change those until you find what you want. There's obviously uh, gear, uh, vests, backpacks, etc. And you can expand those out and search for a specific bag if that's what you want. Uh, so we can look for a tri-zip. Uh, and the prices here are marked as players are, uh, can set that price um for you to buy so it's up to you really whether or not you feel that item is worth that amount um for each item you'll notice in the top right hand corner there's a little down arrow if you click that it gives you additional options and expands out the individual item you can see the player account that is selling it um you can see um what it is that they want to trade for that item. In this instance, it's three Slaywas. Uh, hovering over that will give you the little icon or image for that item. And then underneath it will give you the approximate value of what those three Slaywas are. So then you can see, you know, is a tri-zip, is it really worth three Slaywas, which are 80,000 rubles and also an item that you need for one of the first tasks in the game. Uh, you'll notice that if it's a trade item, there's this little trade icon here. And if it's just for straight cash, it will give you the uh, the amount that the user wants to to get for, for that item. So you can just see here the difference between uh, a trade item and a cash item. Purchasing these uh, items is very straightforward. For the cash one, you just click purchase and it will let you select the amount if that's appropriate. Um, and then confirm that you want to sell, uh, buy, sorry, for 70,000 rubles and you click yes. I'm not going to do that uh, because it's not worth 70,000 rubles. Uh, the trade item is similar to how you hand in uh, task items. Uh, so when you click purchase, it will bring up the screen uh, and allow you to select those items from your inventory. So you're able to uh, determine from your own inventory which items 
uh, of your own that you want to uh, trade. If we stay on this page just for one more minute, um, I'll just show you a wish list, which we'll move on to. Um, and that simply is a case of clicking add to wish list next to the item. Uh, that way, in theory, when you go to wish list at the top here, it will appear as an item here. And when you click on it, you'll see all of those items for sale. It appears currently that wish list is broken because uh, earlier on I added this uh, 9 million ruble assault rifle to my wish list and it just shows everything else that is also in that list so there may be some issues with that right now um so i won't spend uh, too much time on it so if we move over to my offers uh now as i said before this is a list of all items that you have up for sale um you are not able to sell anything until you reach level five uh, on your pmc uh once you do this add offer button up here will become available uh, all you need to do is click that uh, and it will bring up um, basically your stash uh, displayed on the left hand side of the screen here. Um, you can click through that and say I want to sell this alpha rig. Uh, so now we have this selected. It will tell you the minimum price that you can buy it for currently. The average estimate uh, is around 82,000 rubles and the maximum someone selling this for is 200,000 rubles. Uh, now, in order to uh, sell this, you have two choices. You can sell it for cash uh, or you can uh, sell it for items that you want to trade. And that's quite simply a case of clicking this little plus sign. Uh, if you want to sell it for cash, uh, you simply enter the amount and select the currency that you want to sell it for. Uh, if you'd rather trade it for items, uh, you can just click down into this section and it will become active. Uh, say we wanted to trade it for uh, three Salewas. Uh, we can just select the Salewa, select three, and click add. And that adds the trade of three Salewas to this list. You can add two more items if you want to. So say we want Salewas and cash on top of that, uh, then we do that. And once we're happy with the amount, um, if we want to make it a priority offer, which means it will appear at the top of that browse screen, um, we just tick this box and it costs us an extra uh, 1,838 rubles to do that. Uh, I'm not going to bother doing that just for the purpose of this video. I just wanted to show you how this worked briefly. It has a 12-hour expiration um, and then we just click place offer. Now that we've done that, we can see it up here in the top left in our My Offers screen. Just click down into it and then we can see hey dj quest tv is selling this item um click into it we can see we wanted to trade it for three salewas with value of approximately 128,000 rubles um which is based on the average uh current sale price of a salewa so obviously it's times three um and if we wanted to then remove it from sale we can do that um and or we can just leave it here and if it doesn't sell then it will just come back into our inventory so just to demonstrate how this works uh, let's go back to the browse screen uh, and let's just grab a scab vest because it should be pretty cheap 3100 rubles we're going to click purchase um, you can see that's actually coming from Ragman. So that's the standard cost for a scav vest. We can buy it through here instead of the trader. Uh, click yes. Once the screen's finished, uh, it will refresh the, the page and uh, that particular item will be in your inventory. If you don't have space in your inventory, as I understand it uh, right now, the item will go to your messenger. And then you can remove that from your messenger as soon as you have space. So here's our scav vest, um, which we can nicely wear. That pretty much wraps it up for the flea market. Um, obviously, if you have any questions or any other items of information that I missed, please feel free to add those in the comments. Um, let's move on to the handbook. Uh, now, the handbook is something they've added in this uh, patch 2 uh, which you access down on the bottom right hand side uh, here on the screen you'll see uh, have it highlighted has a little green number which is the number of items in your handbook that you have yet to look at um, a bit like the little 
irritating asterisks that you used to get in Call of Duty or the annoying number of emails you have unopened on your phone. Um, so once you click on that, what you'll find is a, a similar list as you had in the flea market of all the items, except this time the items will only be items that you have discovered and examined. Uh, clicking on those, you'll be able to say, hey, I discovered this item uh, and examined it in the last raid. So it will have a little yellow uh, warning or alert triangle next to it. Uh, clicking on that will remove that triangle and just show you the information. It really is just a reference handbook of all the items that you've discovered that you can go into and view. Um, we can, you know, click on assault rifles. Oh, we found an AKMS in the last raid. Uh, we want to remove that annoying little yellow triangle. We'll just click on that um, and get rid of it. It's an additional step that you're going to have to do. You'll notice when I click uh, on one of these items that the green number in the bottom right will go down pretty much instantly. And the same when I examine a new item, that number will go uh, up. Uh, so if you want that green number to be gone, you need to go through this entire handbook click through every single item that has the yellow triangle next to it until they're all gone and then that number will be zero but bear in mind that it will go up again every time you examine an item so i hope this video has been helpful to you uh with going over the flea market and the handbook uh, obviously as i said before you have any questions whatsoever feel free to add them in the comments i stream five days a week on twitch so if you catch me live uh i'm always uh always welcome any questions from my viewers uh feel free to come and jump in chat and and interact with us um until next time i hope you have a wonderful rest of your week uh enjoy the wipe uh and uh have some great gunfights and uh, i'll catch you next time peace